गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद वसीम अक्रम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन माई वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज आई हैव बिन टीचिंग दिस कोर्स फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स दिस वीडियो लेक्चर्स विल बी वेरी यूजफुल टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो कीप वॉचिंग लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ आवर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सॉइल सॉइल्स इन जनरल मे बी क्लासिफाइड एज कोहेजन लेस और कोर्स ग्रेन सॉइल एंड कोहेसिव ऑल्सो नोन एज फाइन ग्रेन सॉइल हाउ एवर दीज टर्म्स आर too general and include a wide range of engineering properties i mean coarse grained and fine grained are too general it includes a wide range of engineering property hence additional means of categorization are necessary to make the term more meaningful in engineering practice these term are compiled to form soil classification system now let us understand the meaning of soil classification system a soil classification system is meant essentially to provide a language of communication between engineers it means it may be considered a system of leveling soil which would convey the same meaning universally the main objective of the soil classification system is sorting of soil into groups each of which would show similar behavior any soil classification system must provide us with information about the probable engineering behavior of a soil a classification system must be simple to use and the number of soil groups not too many in numbers in case of soil classification the most common use properties are grain size distribution and plasticity we have already learned in our previous classes grain size distribution and plasticity several classification system were evolved by different organization having a specific purpose as uh, as the object A Casa Grande in 1948 described the system developed and used in highway engineering air field construction the two classification system which were adopted by the US engineering agencies and the state departments are the unified soil classification system also known as USCS classification system and the american association of state highway transport official also known as asto soil classification system in india we have uh, indian standard soil classification system it is just a slight modification of unified soil classification system इंडिया में जो हम यूज कर रहे हैं वो यूनिफाइड सॉइल क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम ही यूज करते हैं लेकिन थोड़ा मॉडिफिकेशन के साथ कर रहे हैं सो बेसिकली वी हैव थ्री टाइप ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम दैट इज यूएससीएस एस्टो एंड इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड सॉइल क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम लेट अस डिस्कस वन बाई वन फर्स्ट यूनिफाइड सॉइल क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम दैट इज यूएससीएस it is originally developed by casa grande in 1948 but slightly modified in 1952 this system was intended for use in air field construction during world war 2 later it was slightly modified to make it applicable to foundations dams and other construction According to the unified soil classification system coarse grained soils 
are classified on the basis of their grain size distribution. We all know what is the meaning of coarse grain soil and fine grain soil. And fine grain soils are classified on the basis of their plasticity characteristics. All the soil are classified into four major groups that is coarse grain soil means 50% or more retained on 75 micron sieve. Fine grain 50% or more passing 75 micron sieve. Organic soil means organic matters in various sizes and stages of decomposition are present in the soil and another category is peat it has fibrous spongy type uh, material it has no specific grain size so as per uscs this four types of soil are classified in groups this coarse grain soil is further classified into gravel and soil if 50 percent is retained on 4.75 micron c millimeter sieve then it is called gravel if 50 percent passes 4.75 mm sieve then it is called and fine grain soils are subdivided into silt and clay based on their liquid limit and plasticity index silt clay and organic fractions are further subdivided into soils possessing low means L or high H plasticity when the liquid limit is less than 50 percent and more than 50 percent respectively. According to USCS classification system, soil possessing the characteristics of more than one group can be termed as boundary soils and hence are assigned dual group symbol. For example, if we have symbol like GWGC, it means is, this is well graded gravel with some clay fines. Here we can see the prefix and suffix used in the unified soil classification system. For gravel symbol is G, sand, S, silt, M, clay, C, for organic soil O, peat pt and subgroup is well graded w poorly graded p silty m clay c and if the liquid limit is less than 50 percent then it is l and if the liquid limit is more than 50 percent the suffix or the symbol is h both gravel and sand are divided into four subgroups for example g w g p g m g c g w means well graded gravel gravel sand mixture little or no fines gp means poorly graded gravel it's a gravel sand mixture little or no fines gm silty gravel poorly grade, graded gravel sand silt mixture GC clay gravel poorly graded gravel sand clay mixture like gravel sand is also divided into four subgroup like S W S P S M and S C SW means well graded sand, gravelly little no or no fines. SP is poorly graded sand, gravelly sand little or no fines. SM is 
silty sand, poorly graded sand, silt mixture. And SC is clay sand, poorly graded sand clay mixture. Here in the table we can see fine grain soils having more than 50% material passing 75 micron sieves. These are subdivided in silt and clay based on their inorganic silt, silt, clay and organic fractions are further divided into soils possessing low and high plasticity when the liquid limit is less than 50 percent and liquid limit is more than 50 percent. Highly organic soils fibrous in nature usually peat and swampy soils having high compressibility are not subdivided. These are put into one group only with group, group symbol PT. So my dear students, अभी तक जो हमने पढ़ा classification of soil, and different classification system, specially unified soil classification system. As per unified soil classification system, soil is basically classified as coarse grained and fine grained. ये दो चीजें हमने अभी तक सीखा Coarse grained और fine grained क्या हुआ कि अगर 75 फाइव माइक्रोन से ज्यादा रिटेन हो गया तो 50 परसेंट से ज्यादा 75 फाइव माइक्रोन पे रिटेन हो गया तो हम उसको कोर्स ग्रेड बोलेंगे अगर 50 परसेंट से ज्यादा 75 फाइव माइक्रोन सीप से पास हो गया तो हम उसको फाइन ग्रेन बोलेंगे और ये क्लासिफिकेशन जरूरी क्यों है क्योंकि हमें ये पता चल जाए कि डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स में हमारा बिहेवियर सॉइल का अगर एक ही ग्रुप में दो तरह दो सॉइल है तो इसका मतलब ये हम समझेंगे कि दोनों का बिहेवियर सेम होगा दोनों की प्रॉपर्टी सेम होगी ये एक तरह का कैटेगराइजेशन है एक तरह का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है हमारा जिससे कि हम आसानी से कह सकते हैं कि ये सॉइल की प्रॉपर्टी ये होगी और ये जो कोर्स ग्रेन सॉइल हम क्लासीफाई करते हैं हम बेस्ड ऑन ग्रेन साइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड फाइन ग्रेन जो हम क्लासीफाई करते हैं बेस्ड ऑन द प्लास्टिसिटी ग्रेन साइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हमने बहुत डिटेल में पढ़ा प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स में एंड प्लास्टिसिटी एंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ देयर प्लास्टिसिटी आल्सो हम लोगों ने बहुत डिटेल में पढ़ा है उसका लिंक इस वीडियो में रहेगा आप इसमें देख सकेंगे सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट यूनिफाइड सॉइल क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम आई होप इट मेक सम सेंस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू द सेम soil classification system definitely we will discuss the different classification system like asto and indian standard soil classification system so keep watching thank you thanks for watching